Hello everyone, this is Meghnad. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to install Visual Studio 2017. Let's get started. So first you need to do is, you need to search for Visual Studio 2017, download, and let me copy this. Open your favorite browser, let me open this, and I'll paste here, enter. Now the first link that you're seeing here is visualstudio.com slash downloads. This is the official website from Microsoft. Let me click on this. Now here you will see Windows and Mac OS. So if your computer is Mac, click on this. If your computer is Windows, you need to download this. So my computer is Windows operating system, so I clicked on this. And now you'll see here three things. Visual Studio Community Edition, Visual Studio Professional, Visual Studio Enterprise Edition. So Community Edition is free for students, open source uh, project resources who are working on open source projects and individual developers. If you own a company and have employees, then you might have to decide which one to go for. The installation steps remain same for all these three. Now what we'll do now, let me click on this. I'm going to show you how to install Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. The steps remain same for this as well as this. So let's get started. Click on this free download and now it will download a small file. Now you can see here, here you can see that the download is done and let me go back to the file, show in folder, let me open this and you can see this is a small exe file and once we install, click on this, now let me right click on this, run as administrator and it will ask for, do you want to make changes for the computer, click on yes. Now it'll take a while. Now, now you can see here, so it just opened a pop-up window and click on continue. And it'll check the compatibility with your computer. So it'll take a while, up to a minute. So after that it'll open a pop-up like this where you can select the project templates that you need. So in my case, I want to develop ASP.NET web applications, so I need to check this. And I also need .NET desktop development applications like Windows Forms, WPF, console applications. Let me check this. So depending on your requirement, so if you want to develop C++ applications, you can check this. If you want to develop universal Windows platform development, or if you want to work on Azure development, cloud platform, Node.js, Python development. So depending on your requirement, you have to select. So Office uh, uh, development projects, game development with Un Unity Framework. So like this, you have different uh, templates that you can select. So uh, Visual Studio Extension Development, uh, Linux Development with C++, .NET Code Platform, so if you want to develop. So in my case, I need um, .NET Desktop Development, and I need um, Desktop Development with C++, and I would require ASP.NET Web Development, and, uh, and also I would require um, a .NET cross-platform development. So these are the features that I need. And now, so you can see here the size that would require, you can see the total size here, right hand side, 11.6 GB is the file size that will be downloaded when you select. So depending on the options that you select, the file size will increase. Okay, with this, let me click on install. Now, even if you install it with some uh, templates now, if you later on realize that you need to install some more templates, you can do that by going to control panel and you can um, alter, I mean, you can right click on Visual Studio installation and you can change it, okay? So for now, uh, the selected components uh, will be installed. First, it'll download the 11.6 GB size and then parallelly, it'll, it'll install as well. So it might take you up to half an hour to uh, 40 minutes. So yeah, let me pause. Yeah. So like this, we need to install it and let's continue. So you can notice here that the installation is almost done. So download is already done and installation is about to complete. Um, it shows 95% done, 96% done. Almost there, 100% completed. It's just uh, finishing the things. And now you can see here, so Visual Studio installation succeeded. So it almost took me around um, 25 to 30 minutes. And for you, it depends on uh, the internet connection speed that you have. 
Okay, so once installation is done, so let me click on launch. So you can see here launch button, or if you don't see this, you can actually close this, installation is done. Now you can type here Visual Studio. Visual Studio, you can see here, Visual Studio 2017 desktop app just got installed, click on this. Now it's launching Visual Studio. For the first time, it might take uh, a bit of more time, but let's see. Yeah, so it just uh, launched in and it's asking to sign in. So if you click on not now, maybe later, so it'll, it'll add you a 30 days free time, but it's good to sign up. So uh, if you have a Hotmail account or Outlook account from Microsoft, you can sign in and it's lifetime free. So let me sign in with my Hotmail account. And once you sign in, it'll be lifetime free. So in case if you don't have Hotmail account or Outlook account, just create it. So I have created uh, one Hotmail account. And click on next and it'll ask you to enter your credentials and you can enter your credentials. And that's it, once you click on enter your credentials and click on continue and uh, it'll take a while and uh, things will be fine. Let's see how long it'll take. Show you we are preparing for the first use. So next time when you open it'll not take this much time. So it'll launch uh, very quickly. Now, done. So we're done with the installation. So once you're done with the installation, you can see here, so when you click on help and about Microsoft Visual Studio, when you see here, so it'll show you uh, license. Let's see the license status. And you can see here, so license 30 days trial for evaluation purpose only. So when you add with your account, let's take for example, I delete, you can see here the evaluation period will end by check for an updated license, just a second. See here now, it automatically refreshed it. So just now it refreshed with my Hotmail account and it's showing like it's a free. So it's not showing the time. Okay. So like this, you can actually do that. Now, once you're done with that process, now you can create new application and you can do that. Okay. So like this, we need to install. In case if you're installing a professional or enterprise edition, so it'll ask for the, your uh, registration code you need to enter there. Okay, rest everything in the process remains the same. Okay, so hope this video is helpful and uh, do click on the like button if you're fine with this and do subscribe for further videos. Thank you.